So we're finally back with a proper episode of Fate Apocrypha, episode 13, and I have to say this was an overall pretty solid episode. This episode is showcasing the switching of masters and on both sides, the red and the black faction here. With Shiro pretty much gaining the entire control of his faction, he eliminated the masters. As we saw in the previous episode when they're all knocked out, he stole their command skills, he stole their ability. So now, new contracts have been made, and essentially, he now controls the entire faction, which is incredibly dangerous, even for someone such as Ruler. And he doesn't really hate Ruler, but he still thinks... Ruler is a nuisance, we need to get rid of him, but of course Ruler escapes with the help of Mordred and things like that. But on the other side of the spectrum, it was kind of the core content in the start of this episode was the Astolfo as well as Sig stuff, where Sig is pretty much, he has a target on his back. I mean, Astolfo's master, who is just a sick and perverted piece of shit, really, like there's no other way to say it wants Astolfo to kill Sig, because Astolfo obviously cares for Sig, and she wants her servant to act like a servant, not like a human, because in her eyes, he is nothing more than just a disposable weapon and a piece of trash. And it's pretty insane to see how, like, reckless some of these masters truly are, as we saw earlier in the season with one of them just wasting all of the command seals. And then we see, once again here, like, commanding Astolfo to kill Sig with two command seals. Like, she ends up dying thanks to the amazing swing of a sword from Mordred, which is just a satisfying death, but you still have to question, like, if she wasn't to die there, like, it's such a waste. Like, literally, after you use your command seals, you already aren't on good terms with your servant. If you waste your command seals, your servant can just behead you if he really wants to, you know? So it's really insane to see just how reckless some of these masters are, but it just goes to show not all the masters who are chosen really deserve to be chosen as a master. So then, of course, you see, with no more master around, Asafo has to disintegrate and go away because there's nothing to anchor him down anymore. But because Sig now has command seals, he has two left, if I'm not mistaken there, he's able to make a contract, which is pretty much a pairing I think a lot of people wanted to see because Astolfo and Sig have a pretty good friendship at this point. Obviously, there's going to be some people who want much more than that. But still, it's nice to see that they do have that contract because that of all the kind of masters and servants, I feel like Astolfo and Sig have been one of the most natural combinations to date within this series. I mean, you could also argue with Mordred and, and her master, things like that, but still, it's nice to see a proper master and servant relationship, or at least another one, because in this war, there's been some pretty sick and twisted stuff going on, and after seeing what Shiro is doing to the other faction there, it's nice to know that there are some decent groupings happening and still forming and it does give you a sense of hope that not all is lost in this very big cluster of a mess of a war. I think Fate Apocrypha's greatest strength is also its weakness, is it does have the largest cast that Fate has seen in anime so far. Luckily, I feel like it's still sticking to what it knows right now. It's, it has had its issues, but I feel like with this episode in particular, even though we focus on so many characters, and you could argue it's just Shiro as well as Astolfo was kind of like the main focus of this episode, you still focus on the entirety of this war, more or less. Like, the only one I think who was missing would be Jack the Ripper and her master. But still, it gave you the sense of you're still feeling a bit more with these characters. You're understanding their motives and things like that more, Karna, things like that. And you know you're going to build up onto more of their relationships and more of their personalities. And I feel like the way they structured this episode and they directed it, cutting between the two sides there with Astolfo, with Sig, as well as with Shiro and just everything that he was doing with Ruler and things like that, it gave you a good sense of balance and you felt like this wasn't an overwhelming episode, like there wasn't too much information being thrown in your face, but at the same time it felt like there was enough going on that it did feel packed and meaty, but not to the point that you were just like, okay, there's just obviously too much going on, this feels rushed. No, this felt like a properly paced episode, and this is what Fate Apocrypha needs to stick to with its second half, because if it can stick to this, you're going to have a very solid ending for this pretty solid anime overall. And I had a fun time with this. I'm really looking forward to seeing more with how the anime is going to take Astolfo's as well as Sig's relationship, how that's going to continue within the anime, if they're going to take some more anime original routes, things like that. And also, I'm very, very excited to see more Shiro, because Shiro is just badass. Like, you can't even deny that. But everything that's happening in this war is very entertaining so far. I think it definitely wasn't the best looking episode. There definitely was some pretty mediocre 
art and animation overall, but it was still a very enjoyable episode, and I think the voice acting definitely brought it to the table. Astolfo himself, I think, stole the show for me within this episode, and I'm very excited to see where they're going to take this with episode 14 next week. And I have to say, the new opening, I was actually a pretty big fan of the first opening. I know some people had mixed opinions on it. I actually really enjoyed it myself. But this new opening, I think I enjoy even more. But Fate always has good openings, so it's not surprising that they have really good ones each opening. So that's just something to make note of. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think of this episode? And what are you thinking of the new Astolfo as well as Sig pairing here, master and servant relationship? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And before you leave, smack that like button to show you support. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.